it's a recipe for salmonella. You know what she was told? She was told, that's an old wives' tale. Hello, Mrs Hayes, how you going? It's hardly the crime of the century, which is why her local MP, Leon Bignall, is furious with the Brisbane-based SCV Group, the company that's been running the village since June. And I think it's just a terrible thing to do. Imagine someone doing it to your mother or your grandmother. It's just, I can't believe that people would, uh, would behave like this. Yet the scuttlebutts got so bad that old Shirley's even been dubbed the ringleader of an over-the-hill gang of nitpickers. You've seen Shirley. She, as if she's a troublemaker or you know, a gang leader or anything like that. You know, Management of the people here with the problem. If they can't sit down and deal with people in their 80s and their 90s um, or get a mediator in if they can't do it themselves, you know, management really have to have a serious look at themselves. In all my life, I've never had a quarrel with a neighbour. I've always got on well with people. I just don't know why. It feels like a personal vendetta. But... All because you complained about the chicken. I think so. They don't think they're uh, in the wrong. They just think they're the, the managed, they're the boss. This will be the way it's run and that it's the final line. As long as you'll eat in the dining room, trot off back to your, into your units like little mice and say nothing. Shirley's daughters, Sue and Linda, say the eviction row is taking its toll on their mum, who used to run the village's successful social club. It's now been disbanded. 81 and homeless. Well, it's on my mind all the time. I, I, I can't... I can't sleep very well. When I do, I dream about the stupid place. I don't feel up like eating. I know I shouldn't have come to this damn place. 97-year-old great-great-grandmother Nora Davis is another of Shirley's so-called gang. She survived through the First World War, the Depression and the Blitzkrieg on Britain in World War II. But not village life. But it seems funny, the last two or three weeks, the meals have been slightly better, but we put up with some stuff. Sausages and pies, sausages and pies all the time. Nora's moved out of the unit next to Shirley's, fed up with the standard of food and the village dining room where most of the residents are crammed in like sardines. I hate it. It's not my type of thing. Queue up like a lot of Oliver Twists to get your dinner. You've got to get up in the queue and stick in one hand and a plate in the other. Mrs Hayes and other people in here are paying $250 a week and you know how much they spend on food is just $5.86 per person for three meals a day. Well, allegedly three meals. What sort of food are you going to get? One night they sent her home with a takeaway meal with which was a potato patty and three chips. I mean, what you can't sort of keep people healthy on that sort of feeding regime. However, there are many residents who are quite happy with the way the place is run. It's a very happy place. It has really honestly. It's been very, very happy here until the troublemakers started on the other section. They couldn't trust half of these people to behave themselves in this dining room where they used to get their meals. Behave themselves? Uh, yes. Don't what? behave themselves. Yes. Well, they, they, they wrote abusive notes continually and put them in their suggestion box. Peter. How long have you been here? I've been here four months. Four months? Four months. Well, yeah. Hang on. yeah four you months. hardly know the place. When we first contacted the operating company's CEO, Chris Bassett, about Shirley, we were told she'd been disruptive to other residents, had received several warnings and had been counselled several times by a field manager. But Shirley and her daughters reject this. It's, it's bully tactics, yes, the way we've been spoken to, and there's no other word for it. Then today we received another statement from Mr Bassett, this time denying Shirley had been kicked out because she complained about the food, but that fellow residents claimed they'd been bullied, harassed and abused by Mrs Hayes. He says they tried to resolve the issue several times to no avail, but as they have a duty of care to the others, we're left with no choice. I don't want to shift, but I have to. Hmm. And it also means that you lose the friends that you've made here. And that's important to people yes, like you. Yes, it is important. It's a big part, you know, of my life. I mean... <sighs> but time's running out for Shirley as her daughters desperately look for another home. 
they all expect to move in here for the rest of their days. And for them, at 81 and at 97 and whatever other age it is, to be packing up again and moving on is a sort of stress that they just shouldn't have to be putting up with. Well, almost five years since her death, the Diane Brimbling...